So I just want to do a quick video review of this PSG Jordan jersey. Uh, since it came out, it seemed like a bunch of, bunch of like um, official sites show them all, but not like a regular people on YouTube. So I just wanted to show everybody what it looks like in person, I guess. Um, and a kind of funny story about it. So yeah, I got this um, from the PSG shop. It looks really nice. Jump in logo. I got the patches on it. And uh, here are the tags. So next to the PSG, they have this jump in as well. And I don't have the, I, I think I left the tag downstairs. But this is a regular fit. It's not a, a tight fit. Um, because I got the PSG 2018, 2019, like a training jersey. And that one's um, a slim fit, actually. That's what it says on the tag. So this one's a regular fit, so it does fit a little looser, which I like. Um, but yeah, anyway, so the jersey came out on the 14th of September. And I um, I woke up early that morning. I think I was... Oh yeah, I got the iPhone that morning. I pre-ordered the iPhone. So I went on the Nike website and I got the jersey. It was $100. Uh, with shipping and um, taxes came out to one thirteen as As I was cashing out, I got an email from PSG shop where I bought from stuff from before. And um, I went to their website. The jersey was 90 and you could add the patches for the six, for $6. So it was 96 and if you had a name in the back, that was additional 16. Let me just show you that. So I got Mbappe's name in the back, seven. Looks all nice. Anyway, so it came out to 113, so same price as Nike. So when I got my Nike jersey, I sold it on eBay, made a nice little profit because it was sold out everywhere, the black one was. Then a week after I ordered it, I got an email from PSG shop saying, well, we ran out of letters, which I was kind of mad about that. So I was like, so they gave me a couple options, either get my money back, um, just get the patches, or wait for the letters to be in stock. So I just I told them just to send me the jersey with the patches without the name. Well, that was on the 25th of September. Um, I got the jersey yesterday, which was October, f no, two days ago, October 3rd, and I opened the jersey, and I see the name, I'm like, okay, so somehow, even though they told me they ran out of the letters, I got the name on the back, so I was happy about that, and then, the same night, a couple, a couple hours later, uh, I got a refund for the letters. So the uh, $16 I paid for the name to be put in the back, I got it funded. So I don't know if it was some kind of miscommunication with the, with the employees over there or whatnot, but I'm happy. So actually this cost me $97 altogether. So this one's really nice. And I don't know, if you're a real fan, don't buy the fake ones. Cause I seen some of those fake ones on eBay and this Jumpman logo looks horrible. <laughs> And there's a reason this one's 90 plus and the ones in Ch from China are like 29 because Jumpman logo is one of those things it's kind of hard to um, reproduce not not as not as easy as Nike logo or Adidas or whatnot and some of those bad ones are really bad I mean he his hand looks horrible in the in the fake ones that I seen so yeah uh, let me know what you think about this this is beautiful though um, my wife, my wife got me this as a present for my uh, birthday, so I'm really happy. If you have any questions, let me know.